Welcome back. This is Keith All, and we're going to continue on our series here with the one page website build out uh, of a gym template. And uh, we're going to be working with the services panel now. So we're going to uh, create this, uh, recreate this. You're going to learn a lot, and um, let's get into it. So let's go over to our site. Remember to open up your uh, website now and um, let's add a new panel let's go over here to the right let's click on here let's click on panels we're on the add uh, tab and we're just gonna click on blank panel so what it automatically does is adds a panel to the bottom bottommost panel that you have it's automatically going to uh, put in a text element, so let's go ahead and delete this. Okay, now let's go over to our finished website, and uh, we're going to be, uh, uh, let's see what the size of the panel is, and then we'll add the image. So we're going to click on the edit or pencil icon. The size is going to be 896. So let's go over here, let's go over to this one, let's click on edit icon, and the size is going to be 896. Okay, let's do that. Now let's... Uh, Click on here. Let's go over to the background settings because we want to add an image. Change image. I'm going to scroll down here and select our gym template directory. So when I upload this new image, it's automatically going to fall into this directory that we already created. Let's see, it should be this one right here. Let's select that. Let's click on Save. There we go. Now we have that new panel and background. So our next step here is let's go over to the finish one. We're first going to uh, create this, but there's an easy way to do this because in our previous panel, we already have the same size box element, same size text and everything here. All we have to do is clone this element and then change out the text. So let's go back over here. Let's select, select our box element that includes these two text elements. So when we clone this box element, it's automatically going to copy over these text elements. Give it a second to duplicate. And now all we have to do is just drag this down to the next panel. And there we go. Scroll down here. Okay, so our next uh, steps are we're going to create this box element that's going to hold all these other elements within it. 
So what would the easiest way to do this is again, let's just re create this box element here along with this image and these text elements in this line element. And then once we have it perfectly created and aligned with one another, all we have to do is clone that and that will be an easy way to duplicate all that. And then all we have to do is just swap out the images and the text and then we'll, we'll be done. So let's first uh, uh, copy this text here. go over to our site here, double click on that, highlight it, paste it in, let's go over here, this box element, Let's select the pencil icon. The size is going to be 500 by 135. go. Let's do this. Text color. Let's see. This is going to be white. And then let's change this color here. It's going to be 8 F is in Frank 5 5, F is in Frank 5. go ahead and click on save okay let's first uh, create this first box element here that's going to include this image line element and these two text elements so the box element is let's see the size is going to be 328 by 124 we're going to add in an element let's return to a list of all the elements Let's click on box and then just click on the top one is fine. Let's drag this over here. Let's bring this down a little bit. Edit. Oops. Let's go back here. Yeah, 328 by 124. Let's collapse this. And let's go over to the background settings. Let's click on this box here. Let's make it transparent. Okay, 
Let's go ahead and save this. Let's go back up here. I know we need to add an image here. So let's click on Add Elements, Return, and then look for the image element. So horizontal image. Let's drag it inside of here. Let's edit it. And general settings property, and we're going to click on change image. Select our gym template directory. Select the file. And let's see which one it is. It's this one. Let's click on open. Click on save. There we go. Let's go back to the finish site. Let's see what size this is. We go under the sizes and the width is 50. There we go. Now we got that image there. Let's add into add in the line element now, which is this purple here. Line. So the size is going to be 28. The border is going to be set to 5. 28 and 5 and then the color is going to be set to this 8 F is in Frank 5 5 F is in Frank 5 let's go ahead and do this quickly add element to return let's select the line horizontal line let's drag it so it appears in the box drag this back up here let's edit this Okay, to adjust the width of this, um, instead of using the arrows, um, just go ahead and grab this little toggle here and drag it to wherever you need it to be. And that's how you get it down to that. And then let's uh, go ahead and edit the border, which is going to be 5. Then the color is going to be set to this. There we go. So in the next video, we'll continue building out the services panel. Thanks again for stopping by, and don't forget to subscribe and click on that bell notifications so you always get future updates of any videos that I put out. Thanks again, and remember to give it a thumbs up. Thank you.